Universities promise sustainability, a noble goal that resonates deeply within our academic institutions. Yet, when we meticulously examine architecture theses worldwide, a stark reality emerges, less than half genuinely align with the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Why this significant disconnect? It's often because we mistakenly confuse green aesthetics with true, deeply integrated sustainable intelligence. The problem lies in the chasm between academic declarations and actual, tangible practice within architectural education. Many institutions proudly proclaim their commitment to sustainability, yet their curricula often fall short of equipping students with the practical tools and critical thinking needed for real-world impact. Consider the Rocklaw case study a poignant example where ambitious urban renewal projects, while visually appealing, often overlooked fundamental SDG principles. Despite their contemporary design, these projects frequently fail to address social equity, resource efficiency, or long-term ecological resilience in a holistic manner. This highlights the critical difference between empty eco-rhetoric and genuinely lived sustainability. Eco-rhetoric often presents a superficial layer of green features, focusing on appearances rather than profound, systemic change. In contrast, lived sustainability integrates environmental, social and economic considerations into every design decision, ensuring long-term benefits for communities and the planet. To bridge this gap, we must introduce and embrace new frameworks, such as the Power Matrix, which offers a comprehensive approach to sustainable design education. The first component is EEQ, or Ethical Empathy in Design Education. This concept moves beyond mere functional design, urging students to deeply understand the social and ethical implications of their architectural choices on diverse communities. It fosters a sense of responsibility, ensuring that designs serve not just aesthetic or structural purposes, but also promote well-being and equity. Next, we have AIQ, or AI-assisted design beyond mere energy efficiency. While AI is often lauded for optimizing energy consumption, its true potential extends to complex problem solving, material selection, and even predicting long-term environmental impacts. Integrating AIQ means leveraging artificial intelligence to create truly innovative and resilient designs that address a broader spectrum of sustainability challenges. Finally, SSQ, or social resilience, is a crucial element often missing from most architectural curricula. This focuses on designing spaces that can adapt to social changes, withstand crises and foster strong, interconnected communities. It's about creating environments that empower inhabitants and enhance their capacity to thrive amidst evolving circumstances. By integrating EEQ, AIQ and SSQ, Universities can move beyond superficial greenwashing and cultivate a generation of architects truly capable of designing a sustainable future. This holistic approach ensures that every graduate is equipped with the ethical grounding, technological prowess and social awareness needed to tackle global challenges. Students are, after all, the architects of tomorrow, holding the blueprints for our collective future. If they fail the SDG test, if their education doesn't adequately prepare them for these critical challenges, then we all, collectively, pay the price. It is imperative that we empower them with the knowledge and skills to build a truly sustainable and resilient world.